Good evening and welcome back to the Amlin, the second game in a week for Braintree Town as they take on visitors Nuneaton Barrow. Alan Devishu makes just one change tonight, resting skipper Kenny Davis. Matt Payne back into the side following his three-match suspension. We also like to welcome back Gavin Cowan to uh, Braintree. Uh, he left, uh, one of the iron favourites left uh, in back in the earlier noughties. Conference uh, North and then into conference this season, having been the uh, champions last season. And that's a good one in Vice Box. He flicks that ball across the ball and uh, O'Halloran just takes it out of play there with both Marks and Holman bearing down. Again, Sam is going to try and get a long ball throwing into this box. Looking for a flick on maybe from Sean Marks. Good high ball there. And uh, Gavin Cowan got his head to it, got it cleared. But on his fires back to Sam Havgen who flicks this ball in. Sean Marks got ahead. Luke Daly took a stab. And then straight in, running in. A great goal there from Danny Sparks. He just spotted that ball running close to the line and followed it in and in the Take back of the this net. Time. Gathered by Nicky Simpson, punched up the line hard and uh, great into the path of Sean Marks. He's uh, done well there. He's got plenty of options. He just looks around. There's runs going in from Matt Payne. Matt Payne is in there and it's Brantley Pires piling in there, both Matt Payne and Dan Holman. And uh, it was defended very well and put out for a, another corner. So <laughs> The uh, right iron goal scorer, Dan Sparks, whips this ball in, looking for someone's head, and uh, finds Alan Massey, and uh, he gets this ball back to Sparks. Sparks whips the ball in again, it's headed away, clear. Luke Daly gets the ball, this time his touch is poor, but uh, ball's back as far as Ryan Peters, and Peters will be content enough to knock this all the way back to Nathan McDonald with Dean Chase, York chasing, and uh, that was poor, and uh, this time Peters is looking to just shield the error, and... Uh, the boy's doing it all on his own and he's actually scored and uh, there was one against four there really should have done better to close him down so none can get back on terms and uh, have a jump down the line looking for marks doesn't find him this time but the ball does land at Sparks feet eventually and Sam Havgen then just knocks this ball back in towards the area little flick on there Marks takes a hell of a step in the goal, it's in the goal! It's just an absolute brilliant folly off of Marks. Took it on the bounce and it's 2-1 Brachy with an absolute superb effort from the Sean Marks. Uh, lots of options here. Daly and Dan Sparks over the ball. Well, I would suspect that um, probably Luke Daly is going to flick this one in. Sean Marks looking around the back. Uh, Sparks is probably going to just touch it, just flies over as there's a ball flicked in and it's straight down into the keeper. Keeper got down well there just to take that as it scudded into the area. But, uh, another corner for Nuneaton Town and one for Branch to defend. Plenty of numbers back this time. Short ball out to quickly taken and uh, the ball's whipped in hard and a good header, strong header out of the line by Massey as the ball's whipped in and it's in the back of the net again it's 2-2 two -two. what a match this is turning out to be as this time Arms James Armstrong just whacked that ball straight in the back of the net such a contrast to Tuesday night's game where it, it was pretty even handed but I think it was coming as Sparks gets this ball in and it bounces off the post it's still in play and uh, Massey gets the ball out as uh, Sparks just wins another corner. Rantry maintaining this pressure. I hope that Danny Sparks can whip this one in. Dean Wells has gone forward this time. He's looking around the back post. But, uh, this ball's whipped in now. It's a bit too low. And the uh, ball's thumped out there. And it's still in play as uh, Sam Housham just does enough just to hold the play up off a malt. Alan Dem should be happy enough. But uh, the way things are, but, uh, this match will go either way at the moment. The Sean Marks just picks up, holds the ball up nicely, gets the ball across, misses the referee, but uh, that's poor from Nicky Simmons. That's the first poor ball from Nicky Simmons I've seen in a few games. But uh, just gives the possession back to Nuneaton, who come forward in numbers, flick the ball in, but this time Nicky Simmons, uh, once again, two mistakes in a little while. And this could be costly for the iron. There's a great save there from, uh, as the ball's loose, and uh, Nuneaton dis de desperately descending and then the, the ball's up uh, the flag's up and it uh, looks like at the end of the time it's offside so whether or not the ball actually went to hand so 
ball's not forward. Marks gets a good strong header up and back up the line. And the uh, ball's not high in the air. This time, uh, not quite controlled by Wickham as uh, Nuneaton gather possession, trying to get this ball forward again. Fosdick gets the ball off, finds York, back in the middle. And uh, that's a great save this time by uh, Nathan McDonald. He got down behind that ball. As good strike there from Malt as well. At, uh, And a uh, great bit of work there from Moult, and the ball's just bubbled up, and it's in. Oh, great save there from uh, Nathan McDonald. Good reaction as uh, Nanit continues to press and kick this ball in. That's the first strike, and another strike, and uh, they take like skewing up in turns to knock this ball in towards the Braintree goal, but uh, it's eventually cleared. And, uh, Sam Hamjian throws this down, looking for marks. Little flick on there, but. Uh, Good work there by Simmons, picks up the loose ball. Call from Matt Payne, he picks up the loose ball. He's got options, he goes down the middle, punches the ball through, and uh, Branch is still in it. Wickham's still in there, and he's uh, taken down, but uh, under tackle, and enough. Uh, Phillips done enough there to clear the lines, and, uh, and Luke Daly's going to take this. Every time Branch now got an option to try and advance progress as this ball's whipped in, and it's. Uh, Headed away again. That'll be another corner. Branchy just looking for an option. Alright, this ball to go in. Aaron Wickham shadowing the keeper. Dean Wells is uh, loitering at the far post. And this ball's whipped in better and it's high and uh, out of the game, no, this time it's goal kick Phillips comes forward again, the tackle from Nicky Simmons isn't good enough and this time uh, Alan Massey and uh, the loose balls are just picked up by Nineteen Town and this, this is, could present a bit of danger as he flicks it in the box and then takes it straight over there's a good block there from Luke Daly Alex Woodyard comes away with it and he's really just got to punch this ball down the line which he does and great running there by Luke Daly he does enough to sort of pick up on that ball uh, Iron coming in the box as it gets in and then it's just picked <laughs> out for a corner by Gavin Cowan and, uh, Danny Sparks just went to whip this one over this is a better one, it's a good flick on and it just missed the goal as Dean Wells is in the back and it's been sprayed out all over the place and uh, that's going to run out for a Iron throw in Matt Payne there just tried to get ball in there the ball's laid off and uh, the touch and the ball just stalls at the inopportune times but uh, at last Braintree come away with it and Alex Woodyard under pressure loses uh, the ball tries to get it back and fails Dean Wells tidies up again this time Massey and the ball's just pinged forward and uh, good work there from Massey whose initial ball went up in the air Great work there by Sam Havage only come forward, finds Marks' his feet. Uh, lucky break there, there's the ball pings off. There's, uh, the pitch is gradually getting lumpier and lumpier and it's making passing more difficult with any sort of access. Sure, Marks takes it and Luke Daly does well there and he takes a stab and a great take by the keeper. Uh, the first real good chance shot on goal for a while. So Sparks gets this ball whipped in, long hard ball and uh, out of play for a another corner off the head of Gareth Dean maybe change of tactics here and the ball's whipped in, it's high, it's got to find a branch you head in, it doesn't and Dean Welsh, a bit of a sloppy kick really as a, the ball's, lots of hands going up for offside and uh, going for a penalty but um, it's gone out for a corner Great defending from Nuneaton Town, it has to be said as this ball's whipped in right again and the Keeper fends this ball way in the air. Dean Wells gets a flick to head and it's gone backwards. And uh, why don't you try to keep that ball in play? Well, that's gone for a goal kick in the end. And this throw goes in and it's uh, Alan Massey gets a good hard kick away. But it's gonna and they go back as far as back four and it's punched forward by O'Halloran. And uh, this time uh, it's just shepherded by. Alan 
Massey and Nathan McDonald just punches the ball up. We can find Luke Daly. It just skips over the top of him. Phillips punches the ball forward, but only as far as Nicky Simmons in midfield, right on the centre line. And uh, balls out to Alex Woodyard. Woodyard turns and comes inside again. He looks up and then punches the ball forward into a. And uh, the keeper has taken that ball out and it's gone for a corner. Good work by Luke Daly there. The ball's punched in, and a good heck jump up there, and it's uh, punched out again for yet another corner. So another bite of the cherry for Braintree Town. It's also eaten into the clock, which is good and bad. Um, as uh, Sparks again throws this ball forward, they're looking for a header, and it's out of out again for yet another corner. How many opportunities does Braintree need? And, uh, It would be hoped that one of these might come. Third time lucky for Braintree. It's worked in the past as this ball's whipped in yet again. And the ball's loose in the area. Everyone missing it. Ball's loose in the box. And the ball's spewing out all over the place. Unless it's got wide to Sparks. Sparks just got to whip this ball back in. He has done with pace. And the heads go up. And the ball's going out of play. It's been uh, allowed to run out by Dean Wells. That'll be an iron throw in. Sam Havergen's going to come across. This could be a long ball again into the box, trying to create some problems. Always difficult to defend from a throw in because you don't know exactly where it's going to go. As Sam Havergen tees up, this ball's gone in. It's looking for a flick on. The ball's loose in the box again. Wickham spills it out. Sparks hits across the box. There's a chance for Marks to get a winner, and he just saved by the keeper. And the second attempt, it comes in the keeper again. Marks right face in front of goal. Really could have buried that. He didn't. It's a shame he would could have uh, really just sealed this game with. Uh, he's uh, just going to roll this ball out, punch the ball forward again. Massey needs to be under this. He is good flick, Ted and uh, Sam Hedgeman gets the ball. The ball's punched forward and uh, it's into a great spot there. And it takes a tip and uh, trying to put a block in and ball's just gone wa past the uh, the upright with a. Nathan McDonald managed to just palm that around the corner but that's given uh, Nuneaton Town an opportunity to uh, try and get something out of this added time there's still a good two minutes of time added on as uh, it's Nuneaton's chance to try and get something from a corner as this ball's whipped in deep and hard and Nathan McDonald gets a hand for it and uh, does well and gathers he needs to just hold the ball up give his 